The first thing you notice when you walk in this sanctuary is just the majesty of this place. I mean, look at it. But then your eye starts to wander and you see the plaster repair work needed there and over there too. First called St. George, it's been the heart of this neighborhood since 1905. I mean, it's how you give directions to Allentown. You go to St. John Vianney and you turn this way or you turn that way. Also, it's a gorgeous building. They don't build buildings like this anymore. We tear this down. This will never be replaced by anything this gorgeous. Oh, it'll be devastating. The St. George Preservation Society is fighting the bishop's decision to close the parish and fighting the possible demolition of the building. How do you, Bob Christ, fight them? Pope Francis is my answer. He gives us hope. When he speaks, he talks directly to us. He doesn't speak to the layers of bureaucracy who he has publicly expressed frustration in. Crass will exercise both levels of Vatican appeals. The closure decision came down to numbers. Too few parishioners, too few dollars necessary to maintain the glorious building. And they just haven't had the money. How do we determine that? By financial reports. We don't make it up. We get their financial reports every year. Parishioners' other weapon in this battle, social media, Twitter, and Facebook pages for the St. George Preservation Society direct you to their GoFundMe page. That's how they plan to make building repairs. Reversing the deficit, they hope, reverses a painful decision. We understand that the diocese is powerful. They have a lot of resources. and uh, But if you're right, if you have a case, you can do anything. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.